In this video, we walk through a red pine forest. We learn about oxbow lakes, and I climb a very high hill just to see what's on the other side. Well, there better be like a Shangri-La on the other side of this hill. It ain't worth it if there's nothing there. Today, we're north of Sudbury, Ontario, looking for Sand Cherry Creek. The creek is near Chelmsford, and it drains into a meandering section of the Vermilion River. And this area is constantly forming new oxbow lakes in a geological blink of an eye. It's open for a sunny day, but we haven't had any of those this year, it seems. Maybe one or two, and it's been really cold when we had them. But Mickey doesn't care. He's just happy to be out having a walk. So this is that forest that I saw from the satellite image and it looks like it's loaded with red pine. Obviously it had been planted at some point in time. On that same satellite image, my eye was drawn to the east where the Vermilion River winds its way southward. I vaguely remember learning about Oxbow Lakes in my high school geography class. The bends in the river are called meanders. They eventually get cut off from the main river and form lakes called Oxbow Lakes. Over time, these lakes dry up, leaving a feature called a meander scar, a geological record of a river's previous path. This is a process that can take decades or even centuries, but here on the Vermilion, we can see it happen using Google satellite images. In only 10 years, the river has changed its course, bypassing the meander altogether, leaving a crescent-shaped lake called an oxbow. Over time, this oxbow will dry up, leaving little trace of the river's original path. So we're at another fork in the road. I guess I can go through the bush a little bit or head toward the creek. And I made a little joke last week about fork in the road and more than a few of you commented that it was a Yogi Berra joke and I didn't realize, so thank you for everyone for pointing that out. We now know that the replanting of a single species of tree is not the best practice toward reforestation, but I have to say walking through here was very enjoyable. So the idea I had was just to see this creek because it's kind of got all sorts of meanders in it just like the river it connects to the Vermilion. But uh, it's obviously frozen. This looks like it would be a good sledding hill. I'm really curious to see what's on the other side but man I am not looking forward to climbing that. Okay I'm not even halfway up. Mickey's been up and down twice already. Wondering what the delay is. I know the camera won't do this slope justice, but I am like one slip away from going all the way down the hill. Which would make for a really good video, I'm sure. The dog is such a show off. Well, there better be like a Shangri-La on the other side of this hill. It ain't worth it if there's nothing there. Okay, almost at the top. Here's the big reveal. Climbed all of that hill for this. Well, that's a little disappointing. It's just one big flat spot. No Shangri-La, no fountain of youth. Not even a defibrillating station. Holy moly, that was tough. Despite my initial disappointment, the view from the top was actually pretty good. We could see for miles. It was also nice to realize I actually did pay attention in some of my geography classes and put my awareness of Oxbow Lakes to practical use. Well that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video.